so I want to do my newest pregnancy week for you guys. Um, I really wish I could do these as my weeks turn over on Tuesdays, but I have school and it's just way, way too hard, um, which kind of sucks, but yeah. Anyways, um, today is February 19th. It is a Sunday. Um, you guys will probably see this in a couple days, but I don't really think much is going to change within then. Um, so I'm technically 21 weeks pregnant in 5 days, and according to my app on my phone, as of today, I have 128 days to go. Um, as for what it says about me, um, it says I should have gained 10 to 15 pounds by now, which I've gained about 8 to 9. Um, it says that I should start exercising, back pain, belly button should pop out. Well, could pop out. None of that has happened. Uh, well, my back pain obviously is still here. Um, what is going on with the baby? The baby is measuring from head to rump um, about 10.5 inches and about 10.5 ounces. Um, and he's about the length of a carrot, a big carrot, not a little one. Um, so, yeah, it says his digestive system is starting to absorb water and small amounts of sugar through my amniotic or his amniotic fluid. Um, the liver and the spleen are done, blah, blah, blah. Um, the baby's eyebrows and eyelashes and his hair on his, his scalp could be showing. Um, the ultrasound thing that it shows looks like that. You guys can see that. Um, so that's what it says for my app. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get started. There has been a lot of symptoms this week. Um, my right leg, this has been going on for a while, but I just figured it was just something that I was doing and it wasn't really pregnancy related. And I'm not quite sure if it's still pregnancy related or not, but why not mention it? Um, my right calf, um, I mentioned that I had a Charlie horse a few times um, in the beginning of my pregnancy and it's been in that leg well right now I have like numbness and it's like numb in my calf constantly it's every day all day and it doesn't stop um, and if you guys know my medical problems that are going on with my face and my neck um, it's also on the right side of my body so that's scaring me a little bit but guess there's nothing I can really do about it. So yeah, I have right leg calf muscle numbness stuff. <laughs> um, I've been having trouble breathing still. Um, it's like in my throat. It's not really like from pressure from him or anything like that. Um, I have still mucusy, really bad when I eat. Um, another weird thing that has been going on is I've been getting nosebleeds. And they're not like nosebleeds. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Basically, if I like feel that it's cold outside and my nose is dripping, like I'll go like this, and then I'll hand sanitize my hands, obviously. But like when I look, it's there's blood on my hand, but it's not like dripping blood. It's not like dried blood. It's like blood that is clotting, and it's so weird. And it's every day, all day, in both nostrils. Um, like if I blow my nose, I get those. If I wipe my nose, I get those. And sometimes even when I'm just sitting there not doing anything, it just it just does it. It bleeds. And it's not blood. Like it's blood, but it's not dripping. Um, if that makes any sense. It's like, I don't know. I, it might be because of the weather, but it's been going on for about a week and a half, two weeks now. I don't know. Anyways, the pelvic pain has gotten so much worse so 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 much worse um, it's to the point where it just hurts to walk stand sit breathe pee anything um, which goes hand in hand with my sleeping problems that I've been having we got a new bed about a week ago but I don't really think that is a problem um, I don't know because I've had pelvic pain my whole pregnancy basically or the last couple weeks and I mentioned it to my doctor and basically they said it's the gravity from the baby but it feels like somebody is hitting my bone, my pelvic bones, with a hammer. Um, it hurts so bad, and I don't, I don't understand. And the last symptom is still the welts, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm about to go into graphic detail, so if you don't want to hear it, just skip ahead. Um, 
I try and keep this PG-13 as much as possible, but I feel like I need to explain it because I don't feel like my doctors are helping me, and maybe something like this has happened to you guys, um, but it's really scaring me. And this is probably a different angle. My camera just fell as I was getting ready to talk again, but yeah. Anyways, the show must go on. Um, basically, they started out as these long like welts but they're not like circular they're like long and they go from the inner part of my breast to my nipple and um, they're worse at night and they're really hard and my pores are enlarged all day long in that area um, the welts tend to go away if I don't wear a bra but they still show up if I don't wear a bra so I don't know it's really confusing um, then about Last week I noticed, um, about Tuesday or Wednesday, that something was going on with my right nipple. Um, basically it's the areola part, the brownish part. It is very puffy and swollen and it has like a welt just like on my breast. And it's only my right one and it like felt like it was on fire and stinging and like it just hurt so bad. And so I called my doctor again and I had another appointment which I'll get into on Valentine's Day on the 14th. Um, yeah, and basically it's not happening to my left boob at all. And like other than the welts, but there's nothing on my nipple that's weird. And there's like my nipple, there's like an indentation, not the actual nipple, but the areola part on the top. It's like indenting. I don't know if it's from it being swollen or what, but that's weird to me. Um... Another thing is, I thought it was from milk possibly coming in because I do have high, high, high hormones, which could actually cause me to go into premature labor um, as my pregnancy goes on. But basically, my left nipple is leaking, and it's not milk as far as I know. I think it's colostrum, but... Um, basically it's clear and it's sticky like a syrup and it's not like leaking galore um, through my shirt or anything. Well, it has a little bit, but not much. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it's just really weird to me and it's freaking me out because it's actually making me question not breastfeeding. Um, so, yeah, hopefully this can go away within the next month or we're probably going to end up writing off breastfeeding, which makes me sad. Um, but... Yeah. My doctor's appointment was on the 14th. As you guys know, I had one last week also. Um, this is because of what's going on with my breast, and I, it's freaking me out. And so he keeps telling me to come in. Um, I'm still keeping my appointment on the 29th. That is my original appointment that I normally do. Um, but anyways, he gave me cream and pills. Um, when I went in there, I had to leave school and I had to go and then I had to go back to school. But when I went in there, he like did a breast exam. But this time he actually paid attention. The last week appointment he didn't. Like he just kind of written off as, oh yeah, it's just hormones. Well, he still kind of feels like it's pregnancy hormones and pregnancy related. But I don't know. To me, he just looked very dumbfounded. And I've never seen him like that because he's such he's a specialist and he's an OB he's a teacher he's everything like that and it's just like I don't know I feel like he was dumbfounded and he kept looking and like getting down at eye level on each side and like I don't know I like I feel like he doesn't really know what it is either so I don't know hopefully it's nothing serious because, of course, I researched stuff online and it just freaked me out and it said breast cancer and stuff like that. So, I don't know. Hopefully we can figure out what's going on with the next month or breastfeeding's probably going to get written off. Um, so anyways, they gave me cream, but from what I read from the pharmacist, a uh, paper that they gave me, it's for a fungal infection. But he never mentioned anything to me about a fungal infection. Um, and the pills are for itching, and I never told him once that I was itching, so I don't know. I'm kind of confused. Um, so the baby's heartbeat was 149 at this appointment, and he kicked the Doppler. Um, yeah, and that also goes hand in hand with the next thing. He has been moving a lot, and today especially, um, today is the first time that I felt him constantly for three hours. Um, 
but he's actually sleeping right now, I believe, because I can't really feel him. But yeah, he just has been moving a lot, and it's like more underneath my belly button area. Um, and my boyfriend says he can't feel it, but I think it's his lack of patience, because he'll put his hand there for like not even a minute, and he'll be like, oh, I can't feel it. Yeah, my camera fell again. Um, so he'll put his hand there, and he'll be like, oh, I can't feel it, and then he'll just stop. So, I don't know, like, I mean, he moves a lot in the morning, and my boyfriend's not a morning person, and I kind of wake him up to have him feel it, so maybe that's why he's not really into the mood to try and feel the baby. But I honestly don't think the baby's strong enough yet to have somebody else feel him, because I don't see my stomach moving. I can just feel him. Um, so, yeah. And the only craving that is different, um, like I still like my ice cream and stuff like that, is Mountain Dew. And, yeah, I've been... Yeah, I don't know. I haven't really been drinking it, but I've been obsessed with it. Because um, it's not really in our house. But, I don't know, I just kind of want it some days. And another thing is pizza bread. Um, I've seen it on Pinterest, and I'm actually going to make it tonight. Um, I haven't had it, but it's been in my head like an obsession, like I need it. So, as of right now, I think that's all for this pregnancy week. Um, I went shopping with my mom yesterday. It was like a random out of the blue thing. And she said, I'll buy stuff for the baby. And she really hasn't. So, yeah, I jumped right on it and was like, yeah, let's go. So, I'm just going to show you guys some stuff. Um, I do have a Babies Buy video that I did last week when I was 20 weeks pregnant um, of everything that we've gotten so far. So I just want to include this stuff in this video right now. I'll probably start doing it weekly as I get stuff. Um, it'll just be easier that way. So anyways, I'm going to show you what my mom bought him first. And I've been wanting this for a while, but since I told everybody our theme was monkeys, um, and that I didn't want anybody to buy newborn clothing, that I figured that they would buy this, um, for him in a different size, and I just haven't heard anybody has bought that yet, because everybody, as soon as they buy something, they're like, oh my gosh, I bought this, I bought, I bought this, and you have to see it, but you can't have it yet, and stuff like that. So, like, I don't know, we were at the store, and I just kind of wanted to buy it a couple weeks ago my boyfriend's like no no somebody else will buy it well then I kind of thought in my mind nobody's gonna buy in a newborn size so I actually talked to my mom into buying the newborn size and if somebody gets a zero to three or bigger I don't care he'll wear it I love it and um, a few people have actually bought extras <laughs> of things already but I don't really care he'll wear doubles and the same size and everything whatever um, so anyways, this is the newborn outfit, and like I said, it's going to be hot when he leaves the hospital, but it's going to be air conditioning in the hospital and when we get home, so he can wear this, and plus, he needs to be nice and warm. So I think I'm going to take this to the hospital with me for him to wear, um, while we're there, and, um, yeah, he can wear it while we're in there, and then I'll take also his picture outfit, which you guys will see later on. It's going to have his name on it, and I'll also take his going home outfit, which I have no clue what that is because I'm going to wait to figure that out. But, yeah, anyways, this is going to be his in-hospital outfit. Um, so, yeah, it just looks like this. It's like a baby blue, and it has monkeys on it. It's so, so, so cute, and it's newborn. So my mom's like, yeah, I got to buy something newborn, so, yeah. And I feel like the camera just washed me out. But it says Huggable right there. And then on his feet are little monkeys. And then on the butt is also a monkey. So yeah, that's really cute. And then we were walking down the aisle. And um, the lady um, was putting stuff up. And she was like, oh, we just got this stuff in today. And she was like, it's like our new collection or whatever. And it's stuff from Walmart. And um, it's all monkey themed. And it's like towards the back though. So I don't know if a lot of people are going to see it. So my mom actually bought the hats because she wanted him to wear it in the hospital too. So as you can tell from the ultrasound, he has a big head. So hopefully these will fit him. Um, it's a set of three. And this one is just blue. And it has... Um, like monkey ears and it matches the color really well um, and then the next one is just like it has monkeys and stuff on it and um, the other one's just like a brown and white striped so he has his first pair of hats so that's cute 
And then I picked up some stuff because she didn't want to spend too much money and I needed to get this. Um, because it was on sale. So I got it in 6 to 9 months. And it was on sale for $9.99. It was originally $20. And it's basically just like this thing that you bundle them up in in the winter. Um, so yeah, I got it for him for 6 to 9 months because he should be between 6 to 9 months. Um, and it's just so like I don't have to put him in a coat or anything. But I still will use a blanket, obviously. But yeah, and then there's a hood and I love anything with hoods. And it has like these little ears on it and I think it's supposed to be for like a bear. But I'm just going to say it's a monkey. But I think it's really, really, really cute. So I got the eye and I had to get it. And plus it was on sale. It's better to get it now than wait. Um, and I also picked up his baby book. About two weeks ago, I thought I found the baby book that I wanted. But come to find out, I didn't. Um, I wanted the book, obviously, to be monkeys or green or something similar to his room. But I wanted it to also say certain things. I wanted it to be very particular of what was in it and stuff like that and as soon as I see this I was like yep I'm buying it but then I started going through it and I was like oh my gosh yes I'm buying it and it just looks like this and it has like a little monkey on it um but when I seen like I'll show you some of the pages like it says this one says this book belongs to we filled out a few of these pages like about me and the father um like this one isn't filled out I don't want personal info out but like it just has like cute little pictures and stuff like that um yeah it just has like really cute like drawings and stuff but the main reason that made me buy this mm, like I've never seen a baby book like this and I have friends that have kids and I have sisters that have kids and I've helped fill out baby books before and I've seen them and yeah, I'm just, I'm very, I'm a very sentimental person. And as soon as I seen this, I was like, yes, buying it 100%. It has its miles, the baby's milestones month by month, all the way up to one year. And I don't, I've never seen that. All I've seen was like, mile, it'll say like milestones and it'll have like a list of things and you're supposed to write in what month they did it. And as soon as I seen this, I was like, yep, so buying it. So like it says, um, for each month, it says date, height, weight, sleeping patterns, eating patterns, new foods I liked, new discoveries I made, my accomplishments. So, obviously, this video was not supposed to be made because now my camera just shut off because I it was too full. I guess I've been talking too long. Um, so, yeah. I apologize for that, and I'm just going to shut up now because I've been talking too long, but I've just been really excited about the stuff that we got. So, I wanted to show you guys... Um, yeah, I really love this book, and it's brand new, like, I guess it just, like, is a new line that they just got or something like that. So I'm going to do a quick belly shot, and then I'm going to go, and, yeah. Oh, my camera's going to fall. <laughs> I don't know what is going on. Like, there's something seriously not wanting me to record this. But, yeah, I'm going to quickly do this. So I had to take off my cardigan um, so you guys can see. Hopefully you guys can see this because I can't really tell. But, um, anyways, this is with the shirt on at 21 weeks and 5 days. And then this is with the shirt up. And I feel like I'm getting bigger and it's it, my stomach's definitely harder. So, yeah, and I'm probably bigger than a normal 21 week old or 21 week pregnancy because I'm just a bigger girl. But, yeah, um, I hope you guys like this and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye!